Young Thug facing multiple additional felonies following police raided his home. Young Thug is currently behind bars at Fulton County Jail after he was arrested on Monday, May 9, as part of a 56-count RICO indictment. But according to WSB-TV reporter Michael Seiden, the rapper is facing seven new charges after police conducted a raid at his Buckhead home. On Wednesday, May 11, Seiden tweeted Thugger was also hit with possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute, possession of firearm during commission of a felony, possession of sawed-off shotgun, sawed-off rifle, machine gun, dangerous weapon or silencer and three charges of unlawful participation in criminal gang activity while employed by slash associated with a criminal street gang. Needless to say, it's not looking good for the platinum-selling artist. Young Thug and Gunna are among 28 people associated with Young Slime Life YFL, who were charged in the indictment. Thug's conspiracy to violate the RICO Act charge stems from an alleged incident in January 2013, while the gang charge is connected to an alleged offense in May 2018. Prosecutors also believe Thug authorized an attempt on YFN Lucy's life while he was behind bars. Thugger appeared in court via video on Tuesday, May 10, while Gunner turned himself in on Wednesday morning, May 11. Thug's attorney Brian Steele has vowed to clear his client's name while proclaiming his innocence. Young Thug's father, Jeffrey Williams Sr., echoed those sentiments in a recent interview with WSB-TV, saying, I think my son has been unfairly linked to a lot of things. But it's up to us to prove it. I'm gonna fight for him to the end. I'm his father. That's what I do. Gunna appears in court as lawyers proclaim his innocence, it's our privilege to advocate for him. The RICO case involving Young Thug and Gunna has been internet fodder since Monday, May 9, when the 56-count indictment was released by Fulton County prosecutors. Two days after Thugger was taken into custody, Gunna surrendered to authorities to face one count of conspiracy to violate the RICO Act. He's currently being held at Fulton County Jail without bond. However, Gunna's legal team, comprised of attorneys Donald F. Samuel, John A. Garland and Kristen W. Novi, seems confident in their client's innocence. They point out what a huge ally Gunna has been to the Atlanta over the last few years, creating the first ever free in school grocery and clothing store, feeding over 400 children weekly and hosting nationally sponsored giveaways for victims of disasters and food shortages. Mr. Sergio Kitchens, known as Gunna, is innocent, they said in a statement to TMZ. The indictment falsely portrays his music as part of a criminal conspiracy. Mr. Kitchens has been an advocate for his community, and it is our privilege to advocate for him. Samuel, Garland and Novi also think it's wrong to use lyrics against both rappers. Some of Young Thug's lyrics included in the indictment include, I killed his man in front of his mama, like fuck the lil bra, sister and his cousin and my trigger start itching. Whatever the case, the charges are continuing to mount up. On Wednesday, May 11th, Young Thug was hit with seven additional charges following a police raid at his Buckhead home, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute, possession of firearm during commission of a felony, possession of sawed-off shotgun, sawed-off rifle, machine gun, dangerous weapon or silencer and three charges of unlawful participation in criminal gang activity while employed by slash associated with a criminal street gang. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. Tell us what do you think about this story in the comments section. Go ahead and hit that notification button to never miss our latest op news. Thanks again for being a loyal fan of our channel TNA Media.